Colleagues here at Ledger Palace have described WO2 Graham Bean as an outstanding example of what a soldier should be, loyal, diligent and with a real zest for life. The 54-year-old was out on operations in the buffer zone when he collapsed on Tuesday. He was taken to hospital but was later pronounced dead. WO2 Bean gave 37 years of his life to the Territorial Army and as well as his time here in Cyprus on Optoska, he also served in Bosnia and Iraq. I mean, this is an immensely sad event uh, for the whole of the group. Um, all of us knew him. Uh, he was a, a good friend to all of us and a great colleague, uh, a real man of action, a man who was uh, reliable, always uh, up front, always on point, wanted to get involved and, and consistently delivered only the finest results for everybody. He leaves behind three children, the eldest of which, David, is currently on pre-deployment training for Afghanistan. His family have paid tribute, saying it's been such a shock to lose a loving father and husband who brought so much laughter and so many smiles to all who knew him. A colleague from 73 Engineer Regiment, RSM W01 Glenn Lishman, added that he was gentlemanly, professional and a role model to all. He'll be missed by everyone who had the privilege to have met him. Three Royal Anglian are still only a month into their deployment, but are now determined to honour W02 Bean's life, someone who died doing something he cared passionately about in service of peace and of his country. You've got to live life the way that Graham would have done. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, this is this is time to, you know, chin up, let's get on with it. Um, you know, attack the issues as he would have done with a bit of vigour, a bit of style, a bit of swagger um, and a bit of sense of humour and really get on with it.